I want this plate. I take it back. That's a lovely plate. I know. It, and it's, it's, it's precognitive, is what I'm saying. It's like, you look at this plate, and what do you mean? I can't explain why I like this plate. It's just a lovely plate. I'm standing in the light. And then... Well, then, because I'm going to buy a pen. Which pen? Oh, a pen. A peen. Peen. I'm going to buy this peen right here. Green is keen. It's a Kermit the Frog peen. Alex on a roll. Guitar strings. Oh, banjo strings. I don't have a banjo, but this is great. They have decathlon. Decathlon was my favorite. Decathlon actually was, as a child, it was it was one of my favorite games. I played it with my grandfather. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think he was that interested in playing it, but I would beg, and he would play decathlon with me. Turn around. Oh, I was holding it upside down. Decathlon it means a lot to me. I think it's funny that they make video games where people do things they could just do in normal life, like running or jumping. No, the, the, uh, with Decathlon, there's actually a 1500 meter race, yeah. which takes about 10 minutes. That is my budget, I think. I think, right. that, I think that's clearing me out. So have you, how many have you been to today? Are there a bunch um, going on? There are. We've been to four, I okay. think. It's $14. I have a pasta maker now. Um, yeah. <laughs> What size are these shoes? Where are you? What size are you? These are 13s. Uh huh. You gotta get some thick socks. Let's pretend we're one person. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should buy these, honestly. I think they look I'd, good. It's cold though, and they're they're open top. This is, this it won't would be, be a, cold forever, it's just a seasonal thing. That's the most positive thing I've ever heard you say. It won't be cold forever, Tyler. How much do you want for these shoes? Five. Five bucks? You're allowed to haggle. <laughs> two fifty. <laughs> you got two fifty? Five. Five bucks. I got five bucks right here. This is free. <laughs> Thank you. You do, appreciate it. Good luck running. Hey, it's reversible. Yeah, you know how you do that? Nope. Just makes it. That'd be actually good for. I'm allergic to. This is a fun fact. I'm allergic to nickel. If I if I. Is that true? Yeah. I've I had to, I have to buy special belt buckles now. So like this. How do you know if it's made of nickel? You, I get a rash. <laughs> That's how I know. Right. Yeah. I did. There's a whole subculture on the internet of people who are allergic to nickel. They buy belt buckles, the jewelry. You have to buy nickel free. It's very. Very hard. One of those two. What kind of rash is it? Is it like a painful rash? Or does it look oh, it's the worst. Google, Google it. I mean, it, it, it's not the worst. I mean, there, leprosy exists. How quickly does it happen? Like, if I just started like rubbing this on you, well, don't. Would that, just, don't would do that do just sorry. But, <laughs> would that just? Are you gonna flare? Are you no. Gonna flare? It, if it's just like if it rubs on my belly all day long, get just get this gnarly. It's real gross. Can we cut to a we'll cut to a picture of B-roll? of a nickel allergy right now. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Boom, 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 nickel allergy. Nickel allergy. Boom, Get it boom, safe. Boom. Okay. Get it safe? Get it. Well, we were filming here at the yard sailing and some construction started happening, but we still had a fruitful experience. <laughs> Yard sailors? Okay. I don't know, I've never seen it. This is my sail. I've been doing yard sales for 30 years. Wow. Wow. And that's why they call me the queen of the sack. 
and I like to do everything very organized, clean, I price things. In fact, my sale is called the All-American Tag Sale. Okay. And everybody, you know, knows me. This is what I've been doing. And I put my ad on Craigslist and they, boom, they know who it is right away. And I have a lot of odd items. I want to show you this. This is made out of the railroad spikes. Look at that, yeah. That's a coat hanger? Can, yeah. How much is that going for? Not. Uh, not for sale. But wow. Mm -hmm. I collect ironing boards, I collect wagons, I collect children's chairs, I collect children's tables, all kinds of children's furniture. I have a lot of stuff that I'm not willing to part with at the end. Too much stuff, but a friend of mine says simplify, less is more. I think more is more. I agree. And did I tell you, I met my ex-husband at a garage sale. Yes, she met her ex-husband. Yes. we got to hear that story. I met my ex-husband at a garage sale in East Sacramento at 39th and M. And he followed me around all day at the next garage sale. It was unbelievable. I go, what are you following me for? He goes, I kind of like you. Oh, my God. He had two kids. And so he kept every sale, every weekend, he followed me around. Finally, he said, do you think you would go out with me? And his friend tried to talk me out of going out with him. Oh, he's a gambler, he's an alcoholic. And I said, well, I always did like a challenge. So I went out with him and married him seven months later. But I said, I'll marry you if you build me a house. So we built this house. It took five years, but we did build the house. We've been to a Yacht of Yard sales today, and we found some wonderful treasure, including this beautiful woman, the Queen of East Sacramento. We'll see you next time.